Hey, this is Sarah at The Green Executive, and I'm going to show you how you can track your expenses for particular pieces of equipment or vehicles specifically throughout the year. So that way you can look back and say how much you spent in repairing or maintaining those specific pieces of equipment uh, without bogging down your P&L, without having a P&L that's many pages long. So the first step to do that is um, go hop into your QuickBooks. And not every version of QuickBooks can do this. I am in plus for this example. And I'm going to go down to, I hit the sprocket, and I'm going to go down to products and services. So this is your list of uh, offerings that you have to your customers. Usually when you're building an invoice, you're drawing on this list here for those specifics that you're putting on the invoice or sales receipt. So here you'll see different things. And this is just example. Yours are going to look different. They're going to be specific to you. And here we can add whatever we need. We can add new ones. We're going to do a non-inventory part. You just definitely don't want to do an inventory part because if you are a company that tracks inventory or has your inventory turned on, you don't want to mess with that. So we're going to do a non-inventory. I'm going to call this truck 17. I don't necessarily have a SKU I want to use with it. A SKU being like a, a barcode or tracker or identifying number. If I wanted to use categories, I could to just organize this list of products and services. That's the purpose of category here, to organize this list. And maybe this truck is part of the whoops, field vehicles okay. versus overhead vehicles. Now here's where you get into the real details of I'm not selling this. This is our truck. So I'm not going to sell that to our customers. Now I would say you should charge your customers for your equipment, but different conversation. So I'm not going to put it on an invoice to a client. I am going to put it on a, a in the system as an expense or a purchase from a supplier or vendor. So I'm going to say, yes, let's do that. I don't need a description here because that's going to change depending on what it is I'm purchasing. Same with the cost. Now here I want to say where the money's going to go in terms of that money out. So I might be putting that money out to like an auto account or a vehicle expense account. You know, whatever big expense account that I've been putting that to on my P&L, that's what I want this specific truck to track to. So here in this sample file, let's see what we have. Do I have an auto? I do have an automobile expense. So now crafting your profit and loss, that's a, that's a involved discussion in a, in a respect, but really you want your profit and loss statement to tell you what you want to know. So if you are just tracking automobile, hey, at least you're doing that. That's great. I'm going to keep it at that for now. Just know you can get more specific in your profit and loss statement as well. You could on there say that you're tracking your field vehicles versus your um, overhead vehicles. You could track whatever big bucket you want to know. That's what the expense accounts are. These are what's in your chart of accounts. This is what displays on your profit and loss statement. These are the big buckets. And here we're going to have the specific pieces of equipment or vehicles. I'm going to buy those from all different places. So I'm going to leave that as it is. So I'm going to save and close that. So now what I can do is when I have purchased something from a repair place. So let's say I go to AutoZone or O'Reilly's or wherever the case may be. I'm going to make sure that vendor is in here. I would encourage you to add as many details as you can. So you've got in there, how did I pay for it? This one I paid on my MasterCard. What day did I make the purchase? I put it on my MasterCard. I might have a reference number from my receipt. Tags are another layer of organization that I'm not going to use right now. And traditionally here is where you probably put, hey, it was an auto expense. And it was $5.37. Bought an oil filter. And you leave it at that. So now, instead of doing this, and the money just going to, and I might even have said, for truck 17, <clears throat> I could do that. Alternatively, now that I've set myself up for these details, I'm going to come down here to the item details. So instead of going to the big account or category, the big bucket, now I'm going to put it down into the specific bucket. Truck 17 is there. 
I wouldn't even have to put that anymore. I bought one for $5.37. And I could carry that down into my memo as well. So let's save and close that. Now we can go over to look at what we've all purchased from AutoZone. And there's our expense here. And we can see really clearly the date, the expense, or that it was an expense, the reference number, probably don't necessarily need payee here because we're doing that. <clears throat> you can change, excuse me, what you display here. So you can decide what you want to see on this screen. If you don't need to see the payee, you can just take it off. The category that it went to. So even though we said it was for truck 17, it's still hitting that profit and loss, that big bucket for auto. It's tracking to truck 17. So at the end of the year or quarter or however long, whenever you get another bill and you say, well, gosh, how much have we spent on this uh, particular vehicle throughout the, the time frame where we're looking at, you can come here to your reporting. And you're always, I always want to type in expenses, but it's purchases by product or service detail. So we'll give me those details. It defaults to this month to date right now. And there it is. So truck 17, this is how much we've spent on truck 17. As time goes on, or we look at different time frames, you'll see each one and it's organizing it by those field vehicles. So we can see very clearly exactly what we spent on what. So I hope that's a way to help you track what you're spending on those specifics without making your profit and loss a little out of control, keeping your profit and loss really clean, but getting those details you want. So this is Sarah from The Green Executive.